Well, now their children are out there. We gotta save the children of Mars. Anyone who was involved in advanced technology was either stopped in one way or another. Well, there's a lot of 20 year old Martian slaves up there that were born on Mars and they're human. And they're probably about 15 years old. There was probably a lot of hybrid, hybrid, uh, <laughs> Mayor Sherry, Sherry Schreiner told me that hybrids have memories of past lives as a symptom of hybridization. Really? Yeah, I, it's real deep stuff. Eh? Anyway, they couldn't stop them, they just got rid of them. Somewhere around 84, the secret government city on Mars was completed. Oh, okay. They began thinking that they really had it made. And then just a few years ago, approximately at 89, or more than a few years ago, but... Is, but Tom Cotton Mallow doesn't know the exact date. They made it... Is there Argo and Energy involved? The Earth is not the only place that the North and South Pole are shifting. Uh-oh, oh. Mars is going to shift, too. It's happened oh. on all planets in the solar system, including Mars. You might, I don't know, Mars the, might be a little more stable. The, you'll just be like, ooh, the magnet's turned around. You won't have, like, a big ocean flying over your head or anything. Yeah. They don't even have an uh, atmosphere to worry about, do they? A big ocean flying over your head. That you can go to Mars and make an atmosphere pretty easy, it sounds. <laughs> and I wouldn't be able to do it, but. Anyway. Especially when they get the nanotechnology bots going, they're gonna be able to make a Martian base pretty easily. They might be they're probably already doing it. Was that through now? what did you say heart no. You just made me forget that it's a five letter acronym for the teleporting from New Mexico Air Base to Mars. <laughs> we were studying it a year or two ago, I think. The government for what? The government for... Oh, DARPA. Except now DARPA, DARPA just does weird weapons and stuff, but they said in the 70s DARPA was doing teleportation to Mars. Yeah. So you might be kind anyway. of touching upon some DARPA stuff here. Okay. Let me finish it. We'll yeah. Anyway. Anyway, okay. That was a nine-month later, a further blow hit when they learned that it wasn't just a physical change that was occurring but also interdimensional change in consciousness. At that point, like the Greys, they felt quite helpless because there wasn't much they could do. Oh yeah, and New Ageism. The only way they could survive was through love and unity consciousness. Oh, oh it's New Age. It's just a New Age. It's just Three New Ageism. And then the Palladium well, if you if you keep listening to that new ageism, you're gonna get taken over by something. This was the situation the Earth was faced with in Atlantis, ignored fifteen thousand years ago. Okay. When the Martians tried to split off from the rest of the Earth's population and go their own way, the members of our secret government now right. know they can't survive on their own. They're leaving people like Grandma alone. People they need to come. They don't want to come back home to Papa. <laughs> trying to hide the gray situation. They're extremely intelligent. If they could figure out any other way to save themselves, they probably would. But they're now realizing from life forms much higher than the grays that if they are to survive, we all must, we are all in this thing together. With the grays? This is what the higher beings have wanted since the, just, the disaster in Atlantis. 
they didn't want just the earthlings to survive at the expense of the Martians or vice versa. They wanted the, them both to survive and go. You sound like you been, you went through this with the Greys, didn't you? Okay. We all survive some way. <laughs> we'll survive. We will survive. Donna Summers didn't survive. Pat Benatar just turned 60, though, I just heard. Mayor Pat Benatar. She just turned 60. She just turned 60? Yeah. Uh, she's not even as old as my wife. Read that on my Twitter timeline. Yuck. Who? Gross. That's gross. Are you ti are you texting in the middle of the night again? Yeah. I'll be sure to tell Julianne that the thing that shocked her was something that those it's those girls that I described to her pretty clearly, didn't I? I even brought you into the conversation. I didn't talk about those about your guests behind your back. I brought you into the conversation. And then at the same time I was telling Julianne about them, they started posting stuff on your wall that she just said it shocked her. Yeah. You know, is that what she's... I don't know. I'll go back to Twitter and take care of this. Well, we're working on some other... We're working on refugee services or something. I don't know. Something about law. I think we're starting a law firm. I don't know. Trying to, we're trying to run a law firm through Facebook. It's it's working real good. I'm going to take it over to YouTube, though. A law firm. Islamic law firm. Family law. Can you even use Facebook? Can you even use Facebook? Or did they, they took you off of it because you added too many people? No, Bob Melchizedek can't. Do friend requests or send messages for seven days. That was, I've never seen that penalty before. They used to just delete your account if it got. To, <laughs> I'm glad it didn't get deleted. It was just the Bob Melchizedek account can't send messages for seven days, and then I like, but it was letting me post updates. It's just, 